it's all lean from all lean's creations and today i'm going to show you the favors that i am making for my husband for his little party his little brunch just gonna stop this microwave so this is what how they look and it's two tires this is the tire mold i got soap coloring on it that's all right so it's just tires and it's four tires to a to a mold this one i'm actually gonna make little um like cupcakes in that's why i'm not using it for soap once you use any mold for your soaping you cannot use it for cooking so two little melt and pour soaps two little tires now, for the tag, I printed the tags on Avery. I'm sorry that you're getting a glare from this light. So there's my husband right there. That's with two of his classic cars, and then that's his other one. That's a terrible picture because I couldn't find an original picture, so I had to take a picture of this, which is like four printed out on the computer pieces of paper that are taped together. taped together. This was hanging in his garage, and I looked for hours and hours this morning for a nice picture of his 56 Chevy. That's his baby. He's had that one for, oh, I can't even tell you how many years. And I couldn't find the picture, so I had to take a picture of that, so it's not the best picture. But, yeah, so that's him over there. Let me move this camera again. And so what I'm doing is, this is the way I print them out, the tags, on avery.com. And then once you cut them out, you just cut them out and you fold it. And then you get the front and then you get the back, which just says, thank you for attending Greg's 60th birthday brunch. So I figured it's just a cute little cute little thing to hand out to the people so I have these made here already one one two three four five because there's not that many guys coming it's mostly the nieces so it's um my cousin my cousin I'm so tired my niece Brittany's husband Mike my niece, Desiree's fiance, um, Nick, my brother-in-law, Robert, my brother, Carl, possibly, he's probably going to be fishing, and my nephew, Johnny. So that's really the only guys. I wasn't inviting friends and all that, even though I should have, but I just don't have room in my house. My house is small, and so now these are scented with cashmere woods mixed with a little bit of sandalwood that I got from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Smells delicious. So I'm just going to have to put on the back of here what scent it is so I know which ones are for the men and which ones are for the women. Now the women's, this is how they look when they're out of the mold. Super cute. I think on the women's I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter Oh, I don't even have to tag them. That's how I'll determine whether they're for the men or for the women. I'll put a little bit of glitter on the women's. And these are... See how it changes it? Makes it look glittery for the girls. And so these are scented with margarita lime. Also from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So now let me see. Yeah, this mixture is done. Let me just get my whip here. So now what I have here is just some clear melt and pour soap that I added some uh, activated charcoal mixed with a little bit of oil. So it's just the fragrance, the melt white, uh, the clear melt and pour base, which I also got from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and the activated charcoal. I'll show you what that looks like. It's just activated charcoal mixed with a little bit of oil. 
and I just made it black. And now I'm just going to pour. Now, after you pour them, you're going to see some bubbles on the top. So what I have to go in and do real quick is just spray with some alcohol and it gets rid of those bubbles. So again, I know I have another one of these mold. I think I bought six of them and I can't find the other the other three. They're pro I know they're brand new. I never opened them. They're probably downstairs in the bags and bags and bags of molds that I have, which I have to go through because I'm going to start de decluttering, whatever you want to call it. So I have way too much stuff that I don't use, so I'm going to put it out in the summertime for a garage sale. De-stash, they, they call it. And that's all you do. You wait about, should take maybe, these are so small, these should only take like an hour or two to, to get hard. You pop them out. Then what I do is to wrap them. Anytime you do melt and pour soap, if you're doing them for favors for people, for parties, especially in the summertime, Oh my God, especially in the summer, what you want to do immediately after you pop them out of your mold is you want to take a piece of saran. I don't know if you could see this. Let me turn the camera. You want to take a piece of saran, take your melt and pour soap, and you want to wrap it tightly in the saran. Like so. I mean, you could pull it a lot tighter. I'm not worried about this. If I was doing this for a job, they'd be perfect. Trust me. And then you want to put it in your cello bag. You never want to put your melt and pour soap just in the cello bag because especially out in the heat in the summer if they if they're outside on a table you know for a, a gift table or whatever they will 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 get your cellophane bag all gooked up so always put them in plastic first now if you i do have a um a shrink wrap machine that shrink wrap soaps beautifully but i didn't feel like Pulling out the big guns just for a few favors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tag. And I'm just going to very nicely. I do have a paper cutter. But like I said, this is just, just my nieces and my mom and my sister-in-law. It's i got so much to do. I'm not worried about too much perfection here. If I was doing this for an order, I would definitely be cutting this on my paper cutter to make sure that everything was absolutely perfect. So now, as you can see, you cut it out. And when you fold it, you get the, you get the tag. So now I'm just going to fold over this plastic a little bit, get the air out, fold over the plastic, put the tag on like so, and then just hit it right there with a staple. And there you have it. So now these are the men's, no glitter. These are the women's with glitter. And that's it. Easy peasy. I don't have to make that many. There's only like 12 people coming to the to the brunch, if that. So, like I said, it's just a very small party for my husband. A little brunch for a couple hours. And the next thing I'm going to show you when I get all these done is I will be showing you the board I'm going to make for him that says um, it's going to have a picture of a 56 Chevy in the middle 
and then it's going to say um, not old, just classic with just the car. I might see if I could find a picture of him and maybe do it um, on the water soluble paper because I could also put that on the wood. I'm not too sure yet. I think I'm just going to do it with the car because I really don't have time. So stay tuned for other things. I have a lot more coming up for this themed party. So stay tuned and I will show you tomorrow between today's Friday, between Saturday, Sunday, and probably into Monday because I have so many different videos I want to do and I don't want to make the video an hour long, but this is the this is the video for the favors. This is how I'm doing them. And stay tuned for the other videos. And I hope you like this little idea. This is perfect for a little boy that loves trucks and cars and tires. And just an FYI, my husband loves his classic cars, but also he's in the tire business. He's been recycling tires Oh, wow. 40. He's got to be over 40 years. So, because we're married 36 years. I think it's 36 years. I forget. We're married so long. Either 35 or 36, and he was in the tire business way before I met him. So, and it, it's been his one and only job he's ever done his whole life. Well, he was in construction when he was a teenager till his, like, until he was like 20 or 21. But tires, recycling tires is his gig. So I thought this would be perfect for his party. And then I just love the saying, not old, just classic. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on my husband's little soap favors that I'm handing out. Then on the back, thank you for attending Greg's 60th birthday brunch with the Chevy because his um, it's a Chevy Bel Air. So I decided to put the Chevy logo. And I think they're super cute. Thanks everyone for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so you know when another video is coming up. And I will have plenty more videos on uh, this party idea. So stay tuned. Thanks everyone for watching. Everybody have a blessed day. I got a lot of work to do. So let me get back to work. Bye bye All now. Right. So to make this sign that I want to make for my husband, what I did was I just took a piece of board I still didn't even paint the back. I'm not worrying about the back right at the moment. I just really want to get this done. I painted it with white chalk paint. And then I just took some gray acrylic paint. The chalk paint that I used is from Waverly Chalk Paint. I get it at Walmart. And I just, with a damp cloth and some gray paint, I'm just washing over it like this, just to do some streaks. Because I didn't want it stock white. I wanted some gray in there. So it just adds a little a little something something added extra and what I'm gonna do is on my Cricut machine I am going to be cutting out the um, the stencil of the three cars that's his car, the 50, uh, 56 Chevy Bel Air. In the vinyl, putting the vinyl on the sign and then writing on the top, not old, just classic. And then he can hang it in the garage. He can hang it, well, not in my living room, but... He can hang it in his office at work. So that's all I'm going to do here. Get some more of that gray off. 
Got a little white showing under there. So that's all it does is it distresses it. And that's just with a damp cloth with some gray paint. And that's easy peasy. So I'm actually cutting out the image on my Cricut machine now. I still have to design the lettering. I'm not going to show all that because while that's cutting and while I'm designing, I'm, I got other things going on. So I'll just show you how I apply the stencil. What I'm going to have to do though is because the cars I want in black and then the lettering I want in red. So I have to see if I have red vinyl. If I don't, then I'll have to do the stencil and do with the red chalk paint. So I'll be back. I'm going to let this totally dry because it's a little wet from the water. And I'll be back and show you how the sign goes. Okay, out. so that took me a while to weed everything out of the design. So every place where you see it's white, I had to take that little, those little tiny pieces out with a little tiny tool. It's called weeding. So now the hard part... is to pull this clear transfer paper up and get the whole entire design of everything, which sometimes it doesn't, like that tire little rim is stuck there. Let me move these soaps down a minute. So then you gotta just keep going like this until it all sticks. So we got one car up. Starting to uh, lightning and thunder here. They said it's going to rain all night. So I'm glad the rain's getting out of the way. I hope it's nice someday for the party. Oh, so that was pretty easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Let me throw this back here. Now, to center it on my board, and remember, I got, I'm going to put some words. Oh, don't stick there. Son of a gun. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think I just ruined this. Jesus, this is so sticky. Ugh. Why is that so sticky? Now I have to fix this, which I can. And if I can't, I'm just going to have to print this car out again. And then put these two down and do that one. Let me turn off the camera. Let me get my little tool so I can fix this. And I'll be back. See, I spoke too soon. Okay, so now that I have my image and uh, I fixed, where is it? Right here that came off. What I'm going to do now is take a piece of paper towel and just go around this white area where it seems to be a little too sticky. Because the paper towel will stick, to, you know, it'll stick to the sticky surface and then give me some wiggle room to actually place my image where I want it. in here too. I don't want to get it on the black because then the black image is not gonna stick to my board. I think that's good enough. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see now. Yeah, see how I can move it around now? It's not stuck. So, as I was saying, before I almost had a heart attack and ruined my thing here. Now I have to put the lettering on the top and then on the bottom. So I want to try to get this. So what's the top going to say again? Not old. So it's going to say not old. Just classic. So I, I need more room down for the not classic. So I'm just going to basically, I think that looks good. Let me just pick it up. Yeah, looks good enough. I always have a problem with um, seeing things level. I'm going to stick it up and, and walk back for a minute in my room here. I think it does look a little crooked but you know what I'm gonna have to leave it because I don't want to mess with it like I said my husband will stick it out in his garage it's not a big deal now if I can get it off this paper that'll be a beautiful thing so what I have to do is rock it back and forth I still have to go downstairs and make dinner. My husband's going to be home any minute, and I didn't even start it. I usually have his dinner ready for him. I'm getting hungry, too. I only ate lunch today. I didn't even eat breakfast. Okay. So that car came off all right. Rock, rock, rock. and forth, back and forth, so far so good, oh, perfect, so I'm going to continue to do this, I'm going to make the lettering and put the lettering on in red, and then I will show you the final, the final sign, okay, so I have the lettering on, and I've pressed it down very well. I hope it's even, because like I said, I'm terrible with making things um, straight and even. So, what I'm going to do now is just take my foam brush. And this is actually um, chalk paint that I bought in the paint. It's not the Waverly, but it's red chalk paint that I got from Home Depot. I'll put it in the description box below what brand it is, if anybody's interested. So I'm just going to start on the black and I'm just going to dab very so lightly. I don't want it bleeding underneath. And usually what I do if I was making this for a customer, I would first put some Mod Podge over the lettering. And that definitely stops the bleeding underneath. Or if you don't have Mod Podge, you can take the same color paint that you used for the background and paint over it with that color paint and because that'll bleed underneath and then do the red and then it won't bleed anymore. So I'm just gonna do my lettering here. I'm just nervous that this top car is a little crooked. I don't think it's totally even. Sorry about the noise in the background. That is my very annoying, very old, rickety washing machine. So. 
so that's done. Then I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll show you how it looks when I peel it off. I don't know if I'm gonna do a second layer. I might once this dries. And I just wanna make sure this is all down. And then again, just dab, dab, dab. And then the last step after I pull this off and the lettering comes out is I'm just going to put a poly coat over it, which is also from Waverly. And it's just a clear coat to seal everything. So actually the thing that took the longest was weeding out all those little pieces from the, uh, from the stencil. That was actually the hardest. That took about an hour. So that looks good. I'll let this dry up for a while. If I decide to put on a second coat, I will. If not, I'll show you how it looks when I peel off the stencil. Okay, everyone. So this is the moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for, peeling this part off to reveal the lettering, and then I just have to go in and take all the, take it all out, and then we shall see how it looks. Alright, so, so far so good. Now let's do the top. Oh, I hope it doesn't peel the car off. No, okay, good. Let me get the middle of these O's out. Let me see if you can see it. So it says, not old, just classic. Loving it. Let me see if I put it up against my thing here. Yeah, so I'm loving the way it came out. I think it looks awesome. So actually, the only thing left to do is I'm just going to put a, a coat of polyurethane over it. And that's it. I'm calling it a day on the sign. I have still all these soaps to wrap, put in the bags. And I have to... Let me still to pop these out. I don't know what that is on that one. So I still have to finish these. Then I have another project I'm doing, but that'll be a different video. So this video is just with the favors and with the sign and the little cakes that I made. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so you know when another video is coming up. And everybody, wait for the my husband's party for his 60th birthday. That says, not old, just classic. Happy birthday, Gregory. So excited. All right, everyone, have a great night, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye now.